bitch ass nigga. I just got back to the city. They say you trying to put charges on me and put the police on me. You send your little nigga out to do all your talking. You a bitch nigga. <laughs> hey man, why be mad at me too, man? What you, why you mad at me? Cause you had to fake it till you make it. I know I didn't think it was over with. <laughs> What it, what it, what, what's going on? It's true results. Let's get straight to the business. Salute to everybody. Shout out to Clint, my man. Shout out to Mr. East Atlanta. Shout out to Shu. Shout out to uh, Levita. Shout out to Barrel. Shout out to Tweety. Shout out to uh, everybody that donates to the channel. Shout out to all y'all. True. Now, we already got uh, Trayon Ingram. If you don't know who you're looking at on the screen, this is Trayon Ingram. He's well known for um, killing Anita Wilson in the Coverton shooting five days before uh, they came down here and allegedly killed Doe. We know the car, we know the, McCar the Mercedes made it from Covington five days later, where him and CLTZ was responsible for killing that mother because once again, they killed this mama and shot her finger off inside her home. Retaliation, just like Covington Police said, it was it's all it, it's, it was gang related. So that's that. Five days later, on November seventeenth, your car makes it to Memphis. Now, never forget about the Mercedes. The car was carjacked from uh, a Kroger gas station uh november the 10th two days before it made it to covers and it had been passed around using different crimes that's verified because uh the police verified that so they you know how they do when they steal and carjack cars they use them in a lot of different crimes and in case you missed it the car also made it to atlanta which was which was involved which was involved in a, a high-profile robbery that this man's mother, who had just came into a lump sum of money, Trayon Ingram's mom, before she got murdered, came into a large sum of money. And he went down there in ATL with, I'm assuming it had to be uh, one of these brothers, Anita Wilson's sons, and they got spooked and left him down there in ATL after committing a robbery, after robbing somebody. If you hear the crime mob, then you know who Diamond is. No, if you buck, no. Yeah, they robbed her. So his mama ended up having to pay $50,000 uh, to Diamond to get the charges dismissed. And they ran off and left him down there. When he got out, uh, he was mad. He was pissed off. So they started shooting it up, shooting it up, bang, bang. And that's how his mother ended up getting killed inside of a uh, beef that they was having. And so he went down there and killed somebody else's mother, him and Tease. Now, Tease is no longer here to speak for himself. But this guy right here, uh, as verified in the interview I did a few couple of months ago, where somebody very, very close to Trayon Ingram, who you looking at says that he would do anything to get out of jail he said last time that's why his mama had to pay he fears jail he would do anything and that same person also um told me something a little while ago that uh blew my mind they said uh, i can't verify 100 percent sure that Trayon Ingram, I ain't gonna tell y'all, yeah, my people was in on the uh, dog hit. I can't verify that 100% sure, but I can verify that he's one of their top shooters. And I can't verify that 100% sure, so let me say that again. But he, I, but he also said, I wouldn't put it past him because just like you said, that one thing they do is run their mouth. So I did get win. Uh, it, it definitely was three cars used 
just like you, just like you hinting around but couldn't really verify. I told y'all who was shooting in the back. He's now locked up too, Devin Burns, in the air. That's one, that's one card. The witnesses said two cards pulled up. Everything else been a cover-up ever since. We got all the photos and what they wanted us to see, but they made a crucial mistake. They did show what appeared to be um, a, a, a kind of stocky shooter, right? Well, they, 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 they didn't tell us anything about what my investigation did, and when I say that, I say that lightly. You don't have to be the police to uh, investigate some shit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they ain't tell us. They ain't tell us nothing about what they, when they talked to the army veteran, who uh, I did another interview with, with with his with his folks. They told me about the, he heard the gunshots in the off at the golf course from the golf course, and yeah, his folks, who's disabled veteran, stayed right behind the laundromat basically right behind Makita, they witnessed that at the same time that the white Mercedes were pulling up and uh, leaving the leaving the drivers, leaving the passenger side door open. It's the same time that we haven't seen no footage from the laundromat. We haven't seen no footage from anybody. We haven't seen no footage from uh, Makita or anything. Call me back in a minute or, or drop your number. Don't call me for no black number if you change the number. Yeah, we haven't seen no uh, footage from that. So, that's the cover-up. But the more, the point to this story is, with all that being said, uh, Trey Earn Ingram has already been flipped. He's back in Covington now, facing the murder charges. He has a lot to say about uh, this whole Dow situation, and he probably gonna be saying a lot of shit about the gang gang shit now that the feds got him because you know that's what they're doing now, and he's part of. Uh, he's associated with, yeah, Trula. I don't like calling people no gangs. I'm just calling. Them boys or whatnot, you know what I'm saying but um yeah so he's associated with that in here and he knows a whole lot about a lot of murders and shit but he definitely fits and according to it's almost like his people on that interview told us that but couldn't couldn't put it couldn't couldn't uh didn't want to say 100% that he was one of the ones on the crime scene, right? One of the ones on the crime scene, cause they ain't tell us they ain't, they ain't say nothing about the other car now. All that's been deleted. And what I want to know, what I want to say is, <laughs> if Cornelius got shot and taken to South Haven Police Station, I mean uh, hospital, my bad, hospital, per orders of Hernandez Govan, well. Don't the police know this? If I know that, but they even, you know, go back and protect it. But let's go back to the white Mercedes that day. Um, who pulls up? One with a pistol, other one with a uh, a, a, a Draco or whatnot. Who drives a a, a coupe? If it's just two people in the car, the driver jumps out. We ain't got but a split second to go on duty. Passenger jumps out, same thing, right? It's saying like the the one of them was behind, way behind the other one, right? But you know what that means to me now? After all these, this says this right here: the driver's side, the driver's side, the driver's door was never open, right? You know why in the infamous photos that the other guy is way behind the, uh, the first guy? It's because. It's because. What y'all think that is? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Who closes the door? Who closes a driver's side door? 
and then go back and open it back up to get back in, though. I think they edited it out uh, some shit about that other car. But to make a long story short, yeah, Trayvon Ingram is like 90, 95% one of the shooters on the dog crime scene. Now let's get into some more content. True. Now, in this middle part of this video, <clears throat> we're going to take a look at a few characters. And uh, we're just going to chop it up. Now, you see this first photo, right? Seeing like Hernandez go van. Now, he's standing next to, he's standing in between Lil Flip and Young Mob's own OG Boo Dirty. We don't know who OG Boo Dirty is. Uh, he had something going on, Young Mob, uh, with Fast Cast and uh, some kind of way him and Big Head Gotti had a falling out or shooting at level two club back in the days. I heard they didn't pass it up since then. And uh that's that. In this picture, you see him in a throwback video, right? So we already know Go Van is 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 connected on the street level, right? We don't know who <clears throat> who backing him up right now, but we know he got a powerhouse. Now it's J Money, you looking at Endless Records, Zach, you looking at Zach and Head, uh, Money Bag Yo's, uh, Bosses, and then you see a dude with the Paper Route Entertainment shirt on, right? Now you're looking at Zach, Randolph, Zebo, and got it again. Then, since J Money, truly the founder of Truly Mafia, now you see him standing next to Daddy Yo. See, J Money being all over the place. He's the same one got raided uh, with Money Bag Yo back in the days at uh, his album release party. Right? They go again with Black Youngster and Zebo again. See, this is the connection that Zebo has uh, in this whole thing because he raised these young dudes uh, when they was those little pups way back in the day. It gets real deep. Now, Endless Records, Zebo, Money Bag Yo, CMG, has a partnership through money. You know, both of them uh, have a partnership concerning Money Bag Yo, right? Got to put them on. Endless uh, put them on. So they uh, they teammates, right? Now, when you look at this whole, this whole scenario and being that Endless Records is uh, at the table with this Connect Music Group, the second CMG, uh, for the takeover of Memphis. And it will make you to believe, to speculate, to pretty much use your common sense to say that if we on the same team, if we teammates, Endless Records, Zebo, uh, Gotti, and Moneybag Yo, in the middle of this street water, these young dudes fighting. And Dolph had to go. It will it will make you think that they pledge allegiance, right? That's their conglomerate, a conglomerate, a conglomerate, right? So just keep that in mind, and until until um we see what's going on with this upcoming trial. Maybe it's gonna happen. Maybe it won't. But right now it seems like Govan is holding a lot of weight. Uh, now, I don't know if he has flipped on straight drop or is he trying to cut a deal, but I know they're minimizing his involvement at this point and giving him a lot of leniency, right? It's his, his bond conditions are sealed, people. What the fuck kind of shit is that? But, you know, that's just for conversation. And these photos are just to show y'all how deep it really goes. And everybody know in Memphis... Uh, everything is tangled up. Everything. The back door is always going to be open because everybody know everybody from the other side. That's how tangled, that's how entangled it all is I'm from the street level. You know, people fall out, uh, switch sides, uh, you know, have, have loyalty over here, and friends on either, everybody got friends on every side so that back door always gonna be open and i want y'all to keep that on y'all mind and uh 
yeah, we're going to leave it right there. Now, we're going to do for the third segment, let truth speak on what I feel uh, as a reaction to Donald Trump attempted assassination. And then we're going to close this video out and get ready for the next one. True. Look at Trump. Trump like, oh, man, bullets whizzing by my head and damn near shot my ear off. Uh, like Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield ear off. I survived, pump up them fists, and let y'all know, vote for Trump. I'm back. Now let's get into the, um, the, 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 the meat of this conversation. Here is my breakdown, and I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and simple, of this attempted Donald Trump assassination. Now, Joe Biden, the current president, the oldest living president in history, right? I remember a year and a half ago, while he was on stage, he introduced Kamala Harris as the president of the United States two times, right? I don't know if y'all caught that. Before somebody walked up and said, you're the president, Mr. President. Yeah, so yeah, his own, his own uh, party wants him to step down because they don't think he, he's, they think he's too old to uh, run this country. And they think that the people that hate America is going to um, definitely seize the opportunity. Now, as far as the assassination, um, it looks like to me that it was an attempt, an attempt, a real attempt, not no setup, not no conspiracy. It seems like the uh, Biden, and this is just allegedly, when you talk about these folks, got to say that, true, I did know. But y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. This to me is to me my personal opinion. I can think what y'all want to think. This is a, was a real attempt. Now they say the reason why I say that. Let me let me explain. Because um, this is real hate, and this is real. Um, this is this this is they are playing for real. Um, it seemed like the Secret Service failed. Or did they fail? Because they the Secret Service. They had snipers on the roof. They had banners. You know, when the Secret Service, they 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 strategically uh, cover, try to shield. They put banners up and uh, strategically place the president or ex president or whatever in a, in a position that uh, to 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 offset potential threats. Now they had snipers on the roof. I don't know if y'all heard the news, the update. They got a video out where regular attendees of this rally saw the, sni saw the shooter climbing or bear climbing up the side of the building with a rifle on his back. They all said, he got a gun, he got a gun. And they tried to get the attention of the uh, Secret Service and, and, and all the police. But they didn't do a damn thing. They call it a, a real meltdown in Secret Service and protection of Donald Trump. Now, if everybody's saying he got a gun, he climbing up the wall like a barrel, and they still let him get all them shots off, and then they shoot him. In my personal opinion, Trump got a lot of haters. Why would they want Trump gone? Uh, man, just like y'all ever heard of, um, y'all see what's going on everybody we got a da in, in Selby county that let everybody out of jail no matter what you did uh 24 48 hours or give you a low bond see they wanted they pushing an agenda that y'all don't understand i don't know if you ever heard the word socialism but they want to use the um our own little black uh children to destroy these businesses because, believe it or not, they want a new world order. And I had to say this, so y'all do y'all homework on socialism versus communism. 
and let me know what y'all think. But as far as this attempt, I think it's very real. I'm expecting Donald Trump to come out later and blame it on the Biden administration. I don't know if he ever had no proof, but uh, he not dumb. Now, why would they want Trump out the way so bad? Now, I realized that every damn thing they just threw at this man, Trump. I know black people can't see past race, but that's that maybe maybe that's what Trump been fighting against. But when you put God in the mix, you got to open your eyes because see everything they didn't try to do, they didn't impeach them two times, they didn't uh convicted them four five times, all that shit fell by the wayside. And uh under God, if you open your eyes past color, then maybe just maybe God love this world and will use people like Trump if you can open your eyes past racism to defeat what they trying to do to us because in a minute um, we gonna lose all our rights and everything y'all just don't see it and that's why they keep your head down just like just like all the black fathers out the um, they want all the black fathers out the house don't y'all know the mothers of our children that, that, that's on welfare make more money than you do at your job. And they uh, want us out the way as black fathers to control it. Just Google socialism. And then you, I'm gonna try to put, I'm putting y'all up on game. They want us out the hood. Now the, now the black mothers don't have incentive enough if, if big daddy government is paying all your bills you ain't got time but to go mess with the wrong dude they have no incentive that's why everybody trapped in the ghetto because the mother just are running running do different dudes out around the, around the house and they have no incentive to to go out here and try to be better and that's what america want to pay you off to control you now, with that being said, my name is True Results. Like, share, subscribe, always support. If you felt any kind of message in this video for anything, then to donate to the channel, cash out dollar sign True Results number two. See, I always had a vision to come use, use too, because we got a lot to talk about except uh, what rapper gonna die next. Now, I'm on a journey of justice for Dolph. I really don't cover dead rappers. And if, yeah. So we're going to leave that like that. Cash up does sign true result number two. Please like, share, subscribe, and always support. And I thank everybody that's paying attention. Use your third eye. You can be more. M-O-R-E. But if you only knew yourself, you are more. M-O-O-R. True.